Well, that's, animals are also part of the environment. I watched this video the other day. This guy went to the grocery store. His fish tank was empty. And he was thinking uh, about, you know, what new pet he wanted. And he saw all these lobsters sitting in, uh, sitting in, the, in, the, in the little tank there. And he decided to get one and just have it as a pet. And when he took, you know, the rubber band off and that little thing that they stick in there, I thought the thing's claws would immediately come out. They didn't. They were all fucking atrophied, like, you know, when you get frozen shoulder because you don't keep moving your arms or whatever because you have a fucking rotator cuff issue. Had the same thing. And this guy, like, basically rehabbed this lobster back because it was sitting in fresh water and it hadn't been fed or anything. And uh, he started feeding it. And then he had this little rubber tube that he would stick down there and let him... And his left claw opened and closed, but his crusher one on the right wasn't working. Um, I didn't realize how many fucking arms those things had. They're like little dock ox. You just see the thing, and you see how excited it is to be alive and feeling better and everything. And I just, I just so fucking wrestle with that. About is going vegan the right way? You know? And then... But then you just go on and you just look and see what animals do to each other, how everybody is predator or prey, and how you got a bunch of shit out there with flat fucking teeth like people, and they have no claws, they just have hooves, they give them horns, right? They get fucking horns, like that guy in the upper deck, used to sell those big stupid plastic horns when I was a kid and you go to a football game and there'd just be some guy up tire in the upper deck. You know, where are all those things? They're all in the fucking ocean. Um, so, yeah, you got all these flat teeth things that maybe they get horns or maybe they can hop or run fast or whatever. And they just, their job is to just fuck and make more of them so these these murderers have something to eat, you know? And I have to say the most humane animal out there is the big cats, all right? The big cats. Because they just go right for your throat. They fucking choke you out, and it's over. And if you listen to any of these UFC fighters, if they have the option of getting knocked out or choked out, they all pick getting choked out. You know, I guess if you're getting eaten afterwards, you don't give a shit if you're knocked out. But like, they just fucking kill you and then they eat you. Unlike fucking, uh, what are those goddamn giant fucking li- Komodo dragons? Or bears? Or f- at least an alligator will fucking drown. Even that thing will start to eat you alive. It doesn't give a shit, right? So... Anyway, so I, I always wrestle with this stuff. But when you really see, like, you know, I watched a guy over the last year. This is some big-time white people shit, right? I watched a fucking guy become friends with an octopus in an ocean. And I'm never eating octopus again. I'm never eating a fucking octopus again. All right? That's it. I can't do it. All right? And then, um, even if I go to Italy... And that's the greatest octopus I ever had when I was in fucking Rome. It was unbelievable. I'm never, I'm never eating octopus again. And then I watched this documentary. This guy, he nurses this, this, he rehabs this, this lobster. And the thing's having a ball. And then I was thinking like, well, get it another one so it's not lonely. And then I was like, well, I don't know if they would then go at it. You'd have to see one of them. One of, he called this, this lobster Leon. I didn't want Leon to die or whatever, but... um I don't know. I can never, you know, and then, and you have a brisket though, but it tastes so fucking good. You know, it's like, what, what do I do here? I think I'm going to, like, I, I've been wanting to do this for a while. I'm going to go like two out of three meals, vegetarian, and then like one dead chicken. All right. Chickens is another one, man. You watch these documentaries, the way they, what the fuck they do with Kentucky Fried Chicken. Snip their beaks off. They, you know, people like breast meat, so they fucking got them all roided up, you know? Looking like they played for the Oakland A's in the late 80s, right? And they can't even walk because they're fucking tipping over. 
I remember one time I watched that You Are What You Eat, and I got all freaked out, and I tried to go around Los Angeles, right, where all the twinkle toes, fucking yoga people, healthy people are. I was trying to find a fucking healthy chicken, a regular chicken, a a real free-range chicken, and I finally found one. And the guy goes, that's a chicken. I go, that's a chicken? That's not a pigeon? That's not a Cornish hen? You couldn't believe how fucking small this thing was. So, um, 